This is the eyeshadow look we're going to be creating today. I'm first starting out by priming my eyes with the Urban Decay Anti-Aging Eyeshadow Primer, just applying it to my eyelids and then blending it out with my finger, setting it with a little bit of translucent powder. Today I'm going to be using the Kaleidos Venus Trap Palette using this gray color, swapping between a Sigma E38 Diffuse Crease Brush and a Sigma E40 Max Tapered Blending Brush. I do have an affiliate code with Sigma, Ashley Kayla, for 10% off if you do want to check out these brushes. Here I'm just applying that gray shade to the outer corner and then blending it inwards into the crease. I'm using the E38 for a tighter blend, and then I'm really blending everything out further with the E40 Max brush, using little side-to-side -side motions. I really want this look to be very soft, so just blending it upwards towards the brow bone. Next, I'm dipping into this pink shade with an E54 Medium Sweeper brush and applying that to the inner corner and on the lid, just feathering it inwards. I'm slowly building the color up and diffusing all the edges. Here, I'm just kind of sweeping it up into that gray shade a little bit and then feathering it into the gray in the outer corner using little side-to-side -side motions to blend everything out. You're using just little side-to-side -side motions to blend the two. I am going to go back with a little bit more gray, so don't worry about covering too much. So just focusing on the inner corner, blending it towards the nose a little bit. And then here I'm just going to dip back into that gray shade with an E38 brush again, adding a little bit more depth and blending the two colors even more. With this darker gray color in the palette, I'm using a Sigma E06 brush to draw on a little bit of liner on the top lash line, starting in the inner corner and making this line about the thickness of the brush, and just slowly making my way towards the outer corner, using little feathering motions just to make sure it's precise, just building up the color as I go. I'm kind of gradually making the line a little bit thicker as I make my way towards the outer corner, like so. And then I'm just gradually going to create a wing in the outer corner. I'm looking down into a mirror to do so, so I'm just bringing this line kind of straight across. And then on the lower lash line, I'm kind of following the upward slope of the lower lash line and just connecting that with the point of the line I drew on previously. Cleaning everything up. I'm going to clean up the bottom portion of the wing a little bit. I'm going to use Huda Beauty Concealer with an e.l.f. small smudge brush and just sharpen up that line and feather it downwards. You can use a sponge to blend that out further as needed. I'm drawing on an inner corner wing with the Too Faced Better Than Sex Chocolate Liner. I'm lining my waterline with the Killer Liner in the shade Storm. I'm going to curl my lashes. Applying some mascara to my upper and lower lashes, and then I'm going to glue on some falsies. These are from Amazon. I'll have everything linked down below. And that completes the look. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Be sure to check out my blog, ashleykaylamakeup.com, to see more content. Subscribe down below and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on my next post, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye!